Alright, g'day, Brandon here. Uh, this is episode 14 of Graph's Remedy for Curiosity. Is that, that's right though, isn't it? Um, I'm the host this time, I'm just going to mix things up a little bit. Yeah, no, again, just really get, uh, get the host to put him on the spot for a bit. Ready, yo. Um, so we got Ruben Gray here, don't we? Do they, do, you, uh, do they know who you are? Have you actually ever explained who you are? Um, not really, eh? Hey, who are you? Maybe. Yeah, uh, Ruben Gray. Give us a little uh, profile. Come from uh, Balclutha. Um, went to University of Otago, did a Bachelor of Music. Uh, been doing some guitar teaching last year. Moving over to Melbourne in a couple of weeks. And I play touch rugby football. That's about me in a nutshell. Also been to America on an exchange. Been to America on an exchange. Stayed in Kaitaia. Stayed in Kaitaia, yes. Mm-hmm. Right up the north there. Fucking Far fucking up. north, boy. Yeah. Hide yeah. out, bro. And you're moving to Melbourne. Moving to Big Bad Melbourne. What do you think you're, what do you think you're going to like about Melbourne? As opposed to, well, mm. nah, not as opposed to anything. Just what do you think you like it? <laughs> well, when I went over there at the start of December 2017, it's, it's just a full-on city. A lot like of diversity. Yeah, well, yeah. All the suburbs are quite diverse, like different little townships within the city, but I just like the idea of living in a city, mm-hmm. like an actual city. I don't feel like we really have any in New Zealand. Oh, Auckland gets a shout out. Auckland, yeah, yeah. But fucking Melbourne's like, what, 3.8 million or something, I think. Mm. It's fucking big. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vast amounts of opportunities, you would imagine. Yeah. What about Hopefully. Them? Hopefully. <laughs> and you can just party every single night if you want to. Yeah, you can party every single night if you want to. That's dangerous, though. Yeah, it is. Very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Get some of those night clubs. Get some of those day clubs. Yeah, 24-7 clubs. End up pissing up all the time. The music scene's pretty cool over there as well, apparently. Yeah. I haven't yeah. been into it too much, but apparently it's all go. Apparently it's quite a welcoming set of people as well. Well, that's what I've heard. I've heard they're pretty welcoming. Heard there's heaps of Kiwis over there, too. Mm-hmm. Arnold Schwarzenegger Day is going to be there on the 16th, 17th, 18th. Or something. Arnold Schwarzenegger Day. I don't know, eh? Some type of tour he's coming. Some expo. What the fuck's he talking about now? Does he still do shit? So, I think he still does government shit, doesn't he? Mm, I don't know. I think this is like a sports expo thing, I so maybe he was he's like, shit because like, his wife, he fucked his mate or something, and everyone hates him now or something. Is that right? Did he have sex? He cheated on his wife with his, house in, his in-house maid or something? Fuck, I don't know, know eh? Did he? So, yeah. When was that? A few years ago, I think. He, like, she was like, she like looked after his children and stuff, and then he fucked her. Mm. <laughs> Disgust. And then Rob's like, how could he? How could he? <laughs> I think you know how he could. He's Yeah. What? It's like Tiger Woods. Sex addicts. Determinator, they're, man. They're not sex addicts. Oh, yeah. Moving over to Melbourne. All right. When you were, and you were at Otago Uni. Mm-hmm. So what do you think you learned? Do you think you learned more from your six months in America or your four and a half years in Otago? Hmm. Otago's pretty, Otago Uni's pretty weird within itself. Yeah. Nah, probably a Targo Uni. Mm. Just, just through time span, basically. Mm. But it wasn't the going to America was a bigger change than going to a Targo Uni, mm. obviously. Mm. But um, maybe per like, if you did it like a per day thing, per day, yeah, it'd probably America. Probably yeah, 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 going yeah. on exchange. Eh? But I was also like more open to trying to learn over there. I was consciously like, right, get out and do shit. Go out, do this, do that. Mm-hmm. Don't be a lazy bastard. You're only here for a short amount of time. Yeah. Whereas in, in the Targo, I was just kind of like, just going through the steps, going through the motions. This is pretty mean not having any parents around. Pretty mean not having any parents around. And then <laughs> drinking and mm. not even worrying about the real world at no. all. Just being like, just studying. Because it's just the same as school, really. It's just an extension of school. Yeah, first couple of years, you don't, you're not even like... You don't even know what the real world is. You're no, like, not at all. Fuck, this is mean. Yeah, <laughs> you have no. You don't have to adopt any responsibility once you go to uni. Uh, shit, no. Especially in first year, you serious in the hall? Yeah. Fuck that. This everything's still getting done for you. Yeah, you're probably more looked after in the hall. Yeah, probably, eh? Yeah. Except you're 18, so you're allowed well, to drink. Yeah, you're more looked after. Well, like, no, you're probably about the same looked after, but there's no one who's like putting, giving you actual rules. Yeah. Like, I'm going out. No, you're not. Well, yeah, I am. But at the same time, there's no one who actually, like, loves you either. 
No, there's no one being like, you know, yeah, hard. Hard, there's no one, yeah, slightly out of your comfort zone. But that's good as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing about it. And what do you want to do when you go over to Melbourne? Uh, it's looking like I want to do artist management, mm -hmm. which would probably be a lot of hands-on work and probably little profit at the start at least anyway. Yeah. Th that's the ultimate goal. So I probably just have to get out in the music scene, go see some live bands, go see who I like. And uh, yeah, it'll be hard at the start. You have to work hard, pick up some clients. Yeah, but once hard. if you've got a good client client base, though, you could be rolling in it. One of those things, really. I think. Yeah, yeah. Difficult at the start, but if you can make it, you make it big. Yeah, that's why I want to make sure I'm well prepared beforehand. Yeah. Get like my whole like some templates and stuff set out that I can work off, and not just try wing the whole thing. Mm. Well, it'd be better if you had a company behind you, an well, agency. Yeah, but yeah. It'd be ideal if I could get like an internship or something to get some Fuck experience yeah. from them. Surely you'll be able to if you fucking did all that, worked hard enough. Yeah. How could, you make, how could you make yourself stand out going around to places? You got any weird ideas to go around and be like, hey, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I probably just have crowd. to think about that. I've only ever sent, I've only sent out emails to a few companies in Melbourne, but I, sp I think showing faces is a bit better, eh? Definitely. Put someone on pressure a bit. Oh, it just shows that you're taking some initiative. Mm. And that you're all right with, like, confident enough to go up and speak to people, which would be massive in that industry. Yeah, yeah. Actually being able to go up and shake some hands and shit. Massive in any type of business, really. Or mm. well, anyone that deals with clients. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's completely client-based. <laughs> do you reckon you'll be good at that? Do you reckon you'll be good at managing people? Do you think you have a good... I think, I think I've got a... I think it matches my personality traits yeah, reasonably I well. I reckon you'll be good at managing people, too. Yeah, I think I'll quite like it. Yeah. Quite um, orderly. You quite you like having shit done at the right time. I do. Get her going. Get her going. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's be quite challenging as well, though, in case to case basis for each different client. Yeah. yeah Got to yeah. be able to handle everything differently, and you kind of the fun thing will be like analyzing how to what exhibit their talent the best way possible. Mm. Mm. Oh, and dealing with each different personality because there'd be some weird personalities in that. Game. Oh yeah, there'll be some big egos. <laughs> shit, shit. And then there'll be some like extremely like. Extremely shy people yeah. who just aren't confident in their abilities at all. Who are mean, yeah. Yeah, and you'll just be like, bro, like, you don't even mm. have to worry about that. Mm. Like, you're so sussed on that front. Mm. Mm. Yeah, hard. I'd meet some very interesting people. You'd have to be pretty, yeah, you'd have to be pretty dynamic to be able to, like, change in every situation. Yeah. Thinking For on, sure. Thinking on your feet. Yeah, a lot of different situations to cater to, and then you've got to be able to negotiate with people. You've got to be able to... Yeah. <coughs> Gotta be Talk your way into things. You've got to be able to keep everyone happy. Mm. You've got to be able to keep maintain a good reputation. Because once your yeah. reputation's fucked, you're fucked. Yeah, you're fucked. And it's all relationships, eh? Networking. Yeah. Networking. Do you how many, and you know a few people over there, though, eh? Yeah, I know a few people over there. A um, couple of people in the music industry and then just a couple of people. Not, not, not like top-tier friends or anything, mm. but like... Well, no offense to those people or anything, but they're not <laughs> in my they're not in my inner circle of no. people that I've been with lately. But yeah. hey, I look forward to adding people to that inner circle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that uh, your like um, interest and like having previously worked in the music industry yourself, well, not necessarily in the industry, but like being a previous musician, do you think that would benefit you or potentially be a problem when analyzing other people's music? You might be a bit biased towards music that you like. Yeah. yeah, slightly less. Do you know what I mean? And maybe the good thing you wouldn't be able to take, you wouldn't be able to um, so like impose your will too mm, much yeah. on their artistic shit. Totally. That their yeah, pros and cons. I think that would be the hardest thing that I'd have to be real careful of is not getting involved in the songwriting process. Like mm -hmm. I've just got to completely yeah. separate myself from that. Even yeah. if I'm thinking like, oh, I'd probably do that if I was you, mm. or if they're stuck on something, being like, oh, why don't you do that? It's like, oh, unless they come to you and ask you. Yeah, but even then, it's kind of like it's weird. No, there's a fine line there. Yeah. That's a you don't want to be playing that too much. Fuck yeah, it's difficult. it's difficult. Yeah, it's a different one, difficult one to balance. Especially yeah, the hard thing is being being a musician yourself. But at the same time, I think it allows me to understand their mindset a bit more and mm. know some of the problems that you face when you're going into performances and what you mm. want as a musician a bit more and. Yeah, the challenges that you have to face doing it and just having that insight into what's going on in their brain a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it will be a little bit helpful, eh? But that might put them off as well. You happy that you did music at varsity? 
Eh, I don't know. I'm not unhappy. Mm-hmm. I feel like I might have been able to better use my time. Mm-hmm. But at the time I did it, it was all I wanted to do. So yeah. I wasn't going to do anything else, really. Yeah. Well, I was considering doing PE, but I'm glad I did music over PE. Yeah. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I feel like you can't, like, go too much hindsight on that shit, eh? Because no. you made a choice in the moment, and you can't really do anything about it now. No, you can't really do anything about it. And you can learn everything on the internet now, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like you can, if you want, learn tons of other shit. It's more just like a stick of a sticker of approval for your CV if you actually do want to get into that industry. Yeah, yeah. Having a degree relevant. Like, pff, you can learn everything else even on site or just in your own time. Hard to, hard to um, like, prove that, though. Get credit for the stuff you do online. It is. It is difficult. It is difficult. You have to know your shit. You have, you have to be to, able to yeah, prove it. Yeah, you have to actually be able to illustrate that you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so. But that's, you know, that's what separates the good from the great. The men from the boys, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, well, I haven't really prepared any questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you're right. Shit, I'm trying to think. On Hurry, the up. Spot here. <laughs> Hurry up. You reckon? Um, you were thinking about moving over to Melbourne if you don't suss out well, yeah? Yeah. Kind of came to the frame from talking about Wellington. <laughs> 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 yeah, if yeah, if this job doesn't work out, I'd be keen to move over there, definitely. Just keen Why to Melbourne? Here. I don't know. Patrick's over there. You're going over there. Was Patrick there. going to Melbourne? Well, that's what he told me. I don't me. know. I don't know. Apparently he is, yeah. Oh, hi. Uh, what? <laughs> I thought he was just going to Aussie. I didn't know he was going to... No, Melbourne. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. A few people over there. Rich and... I mean, sorry. Reeves and Stan went over there. They said it was mean. Sounds mean. Apparently there's really good wages over there. For just like... Yeah, the stock, wages are a big appeal, eh? Stock standard jobs. Your K-Fry workers are getting 24 buck an hour or something. Yeah. And I think it'd be pretty easy to tee up a gig like that. Like, yeah. It seems like the sort of place you can go without too much of a net, a safety net, and then just be like, right, I just get to get a job. Yeah, what yeah. sort of job? Any job. Yeah. Like, you go to Auckland, it's like, what do you got to do? At the start at least. Yeah. Well, shit, if you go to Auckland and you get a job at McDonald's, it's like, I'm fucked still, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, no, you can't live in no. off McDonald's in Auckland. No, no. McDonald's wages. Yeah. So, Fuck. you know, I don't know, it just sounds like a good gig. Um, what else? Shit. Yeah. Fuck, I've seen heaps of snakes are moving into Melbourne at the moment, though. Really? That's oh, scary. Oh, man, I hate snakes. Not keen on that shit, eh? Oh, God, I've been having dreams about snakes a lot lately. It freaked me out. Like what? Oh, oh, just like walking through some sort of jungle area, and then there's a snake. And then there's a little snake there, and then I stand, and then I'm like, oh, shit. Thing. And then I go and stand on something else, and then I can't really see, and then I keep walking, and then I'll stand on another one, and then I'm just like trying to freak out, run away. But I keep panicking and jumping on more stakes, and then there's tons of snakes. You got some demons you're not dealing with, mate. Apparently, I don't know, eh? Some unknown demons. Something like that. It's fuck. Oh, I hate snakes. Hate snakes. Yeah, fuck. I wouldn't even know what to do if I seen a snake. I'll just I'd freak it. out, eh? I'll just run away. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably run away. But that's the, the scary thing. I what I do in my dream. I see it, and then I run away, mm. and then I'm running, and then, boop, another one. Oh, another one. Fuck. Yeah. Surrounded. Well, if I got bitten by a snake, I wouldn't know what to do either. No. Because like, are some of them not, like... Poisonous? Yeah, tons of them aren't poisonous. Mm. So, so some of them are just fine. It's just like going to swell up a little bit. Oh, bite. yeah. Some of them I think it's just like fucking bastard. Yeah. Like a cat. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't do that shit. Yeah. You can not waste one of them. Yeah, but how the fuck do you know that, hey? Fuck, Imagine hate just that. like, ah, oh, I'll be all right. It'll just yeah. be one of those unpoisonous ones. Next thing you know, yeah. you fucking skits and out. They must have signs and stuff around notifying you of the poison signs. Oh, if, I don't a, know. if an unvenomous snake bit me, though, if I could want to waste it. Yeah, if I knew it wasn't venomous, I'd be like, yeah, fuck, I hate you. <laughs> but, you know. I'd wrong. still want to waste it if it was venomous, though. I'd just oh, be like, I'd I be wouldn't. Too, I'd, I'd want to scared. be running away. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be too fucking freaking Way out. too scared. Um, oh, yeah. Again, you're going up for touch. How do you think your touch performance is going? Well. Are you on top of your game? Are you the best touch player you've ever been? Um, don't know. I don't reckon I am. I don't think it is my peak. But I'm in not a bad shape, apart from my knee's been playing up lately, so that's fucking annoying. But that, it'll be interesting to see how we go. I'm looking forward to getting a gold medal. Yeah, it should be good when you get that, eh? Yeah, it'll be real good when we get that, eh? <laughs> Hopefully. Fingers crossed. School shootings in America, eh? Yeah. Guns, <laughs> eh? What do you reckon? 
I don't know, eh? What do you think about Donald, Donald Trump's um, comment about raising the the age limit for buying guns from 18 to 21 and allowing qualified school teachers to carry um, weapons, to carry concealed carry weapons and Raising schools. it from 18 to 21 seems pretty legit. Pretty fucking obvious. I feel like that, yeah. That should, why is everything else 21? Why can't you drink <laughs> a beer and hold a gun? <laughs> well, well, we don't want drunk people shooting guns. <laughs> well, raise the drinking age. <laughs> 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 raise the drinking age up. Yeah, what the fuck, eh? It's ridiculous. I didn't even know it was 18. Nah, <laughs> bro, I thought it must have been 21 too. I, I thought maybe it might have been 25 or something. That seems logical to me. Yeah. Get it up to 25 or something. Fuck yeah. I don't care. I feel like weed should almost be 25 as well. <laughs> 16? <laughs> 16, yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Why. Yeah, no, nah, definitely should be twenty one. I can't really see any repercussions of raising the age, no. except for like a little bit of kickback from like some even, stupid teenagers. Yeah, I can't even see the argument against today. Whoa, what about air guns? Fuck, what? <laughs> yeah, hey, you can't even buy alcohol. Why were you giving you a gun? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what about letting um, teachers have concealed carry in schools? It's yeah, pro- I don't know. I, I don't mind. Protocols. I don't mind the theory. I don't mind it. I think it could be right, eh? Hey? The theory certainly seems good in the mass shooting cases. The only is, yeah. downsides, I think, is like, what if they get in a fight with a student or stuff, something, and they the student grabs the gun or the... St- yeah, yeah. You These know, guns have to be pretty secure. Yeah, really And then secure. there's like the whole thing of if they're really secure, they're going to be hard to access mm. when something does come. Mm. Yeah. But, but at the same time, hard to access is better than possible to access. Yeah, yeah. Even if there are some people that get killed and then... Well, like if one teacher gets gun. killed and all the other teachers are like, shooting. Yeah, yeah. We've yeah, all got yeah. guns, eh? Getting the gun, then it's kind of like, you're back, in, you're back in the teachers to take down this. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Well, even to buy some time. Like, if they're shooting at him, he's got to at least hide while everyone runs away. If, when there's nobody with guns, the, the, you seen those videos, of, the videos of those, what are they, Columbine shooters? They're just running around like, do, 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 do. Yeah, like, yeah. F- like, they're just gods just going boom, 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 boom. At least if they had someone like, Bit of return fight, yeah. even, just, even just cover the students like yeah. while the students run away. But then imagine the repercussions of if they shot a student. Yep. Yeah, but that fuck. that's a that's a career ending situation. It is career ending. But like, fuck, I feel like How, some teachers yeah. would just have to step up and take that responsibility yeah. on. I think they would too. Surely there was um I heard there was like a student who thought maybe like old veterans could do it. So it give old veterans something to do. Oh, chill out around the schools. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Come yeah. on then, G. Yeah, they but got like the... at the same time, are these cunts crazy? And mm. like, mm. are they going to like... Are they going to be able to see? They got like cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> Real old <laughs> cunts. <laughs> Don't even hear any shooting. Really. And they got a musket. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know, eh? It's pretty... Oh, it's just, a, it's a pretty difficult issue. It does seem like the best option as a nation is to not have guns. Like, oh, yeah, I reckon... We seem to have sussed it, but... I reckon the best option is not to have guns, but it seems like they're too patriotic and there's too many guns in circulation it's at the moment. It's not so black and white with that, no. with them, is it? No, it isn't. It seems like it's no, impossible. I, it pisses me off when people do think it's just like, why don't they just ban guns? Yeah. Like, bro, and, and they're real dismissive of everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. It's like... It's not, just ban them. Just yeah. ban them. Like, well, there's, there is 300 million people. Yeah. With all, all with opinions about their guns. Yeah, and there's like, what, 100 million guns in the US yeah. or something? Yeah. There's some bullshit like that. Well, and, you know, the examples of, like, Chicago when they tighten the gun laws and then all the people who have guns are just the gangsters and stuff and then they start running riot because yeah, no yeah. one has any guns. <laughs> like, you know, gangsters aren't like, oh, well, you know, if we... If, if I'll, everyone I'll, else is yeah, playing by yeah, the rules, yeah. then we will too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just Back like, to the knives. Yeah, no, no one has guns. Well, we still do. Um, They're just going to take over the fucking streets. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, uh, I, so don't, I don't know what the best solution is. It seems like there's so much passion on each side of the argument as well that you can't even um, have like a no sensible... discussion. Yeah, yeah, you can't even have a sensible like discussion. No, which is dangerous. Sucks. Always dangerous. That's the thing I do like about Trump in regards to like people say like he's not a real conservative because he's not like real pro-guns or like real this. He's sort of like volatile on every subject. But like with guns, it's like good. Because like when the sh- when the shooting happens, he was like, "Yep, we got to talk about this. I might raise the age, you know, blah blah." So he actually he actually at least listens and like attempts to think of some. Yeah. The diehard conservatives are just like, "Nah, yeah, nah, bull. you're not taking our guns." He's like, "Yeah, that's different. That is a problem. <laughs> I can see that these people are dying." Yeah, like, th- these massacres are pretty fucking mm-hmm. bad, eh? Yep, yep. 
Imagine if your kid got killed in a South Otago high school shooting. Oh, it's, it's insane. Like, it's crazy to even, you can't even comprehend it. No, nah, no, nah, you can't at all. But it's so crazy when they, they that happens and then like the media or something goes in, interviews the parents of the kid that got killed and is like, well, I think, I think the debate's pretty done here. They yeah. show or they take like someone on TV. Well, his his kid got killed. What well, are you the t- why don't you tell him about how good guns are? It's like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. What? But like that doesn't. I I understand and sympathise with them, but that doesn't like legitimise their position. No, just because that... they're going through a stage of grief and they're a victim. Like, it sucks, bro. But like. Yeah. It's that good. doesn't mean that you've necessarily got the right answer now just because no. you're hurt. No, 100% not. It's like a dirty tactic. It's like, well, why don't you say it to him? It's like, I'm not going to say yeah. it to him. Well, it's, yeah, it's God. just... It you, know, you really think they're in a position to like have a, norm, a civil discussion? They're pretty fucking passionate about this right now. You can't really express mm. your belief to them because mm. it's like, you're not going to take it well. And understandably so. Yeah, I completely <laughs> understandably. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, like it's the, the people that can uh, step back and realize that that you really appreciate, though, or respect. Oh that man, can yeah. step back and look at it objectively and not hundred percent take the subjective nature out of it. Hundred percent, it's like good shit, good shit. But c- they can still the people like that still incorporate the feelings that they're feeling mm. as well. So mm. that's good. You get the both sides of it. Yeah, they go. This was really bad, but then they go. How do we actually solve this problem? Yeah, like, yeah, the bigger problem. Yeah, here. the bigger problem here. We want to actually minimise how this can happen to everyone else. We don't just want vengeance for what happened to our ch- child. Yeah. We want to actually solve the social problem. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty intense how many shootings and shit there are over there. Though. But like just like, it was, it's so weird how keen they are on guns, eh? It's crazy, yeah. Well, like, it's because they're so anti-government. um like government. Like, they don't want the government to take over. They yeah, want yeah. the ability to form a militia. And, it's, the a, and it's an amendment. Yeah. It's the Second Amendment, everyone yeah. has a right to bear arms or whatever. But like that's one of the big that, that's one of the large things they say. You know, you can't take all their guns, and it's like, well, what if then? But if we if no one has guns apart from the government, and the government starts to be tyrannical, which is basically what New, like the U.S. has been fighting against for the last two hundred years yeah. over tyrannical governments, they're fucked because the government can just go there. Yeah, you go. No, all the guns. <laughs> yeah, we got all the guns, and not just that. They're they're the biggest country in the world. They have got all the guns over. They got, if they're a tyrant over their own country, they're going to try tyrant over the whole world. Yeah, yeah, hard, hard. Definitely. And uh, it's probably also against other countries. Like, if you invaded the US, a lot of people have guns. Like, they're actually going to be like, come on, then. Yeah, you invade, yeah. like, Texas? It's like, fuck off. <laughs> they actually back themselves. Yeah, yeah they actually, they're actually like, have a go. We've got, like, assault, assault rifles and shit. We'll fucking stand up for ourselves. Yeah. We don't need no army. Yeah, yeah, we don't need none of that shit. We got tigers. We got fucking guns. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty ruthless. One of my mates was saying uh, oh. in America... Because they are like avid gun do- gun users, love going out like the desert and just like shooting cans and whatnot, mm. and just playing around with the guns. Mm. Sounds fun. Mm. Sounds fun. To, and they don't. They obviously want to have that right. But they're pretty much saying one of them kind of said in some. I can't remember it exactly. Having like um, a group of people where you can hire hire out guns from, instead of being able to own guns. So and they this group owns the guns and you can be mm. affiliated with the group. And it's then a private group, it's not the government. Private group, yeah, mm. not involved with the government. And then there's a leader of the group who's in charge of all the guns, and then they have they get to choose who gets the guns and stuff. And if something happened with one of their people that they lended out to, then they're held responsible for it as well. Oh, okay, that is intense. That's good. So you put a bit more um, responsibility on the people who are actually selling the firearms. Yeah, yeah. Profit, well, profiting lending from them it. out because yeah. then if they if it if something happens to one of their if one of the uh, people who hire them out does something bad, then they all lose their guns as well. Mm. <laughs> and they don't mm. want to lose their guns. Mm. Like, using that as a way to make people stop killing cunts or yeah. being more careful about people killing cunts. Yeah, that'd be like a free market solution to it. Yeah. Like, ho- completely holding the p- company responsible. Hard. That's an interesting concept. But, yeah, at the same time, it's going to be it's tough. <laughs> I, just, I just think people will want a gun. Yeah. All the time. Well, how long can you hire them out for, you know? Yeah, I think it was just like... Um, for a long period of time, like, like you could lease them for years? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember what he said, but... There's a lot of technicalities. It was more, I think it was more for activities. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then, like, the main thing is security that people want a gun for. Yeah. Like, I, if someone's breaking into my house, I want yeah. a fucking gun. Especially with how much 
like break-ins and shit there yeah, are over yeah, there yeah. because people have guns. It's like, yeah. fuck, I need a gun. Yeah. Imagine if people mm. don't have guns, then people, the mm. crime rate's going to go way up in that front. Mm. If mm. if you have a gun, the amount of power you have. 100%. Someone what? breaks into my house with a gun. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm out of here. I'm sprinting yeah, that yeah. way. Fuck that. Oh, no, nah, probably. I'll smack I'll him probably take him over. <laughs> take him out. Donald Trump, right, would have ran, what do you say? Would have ran into the school. <laughs> Did he say that? If I was there, I think I would have ran into the school. Maybe. That would be real champion of you, but like, <laughs> can't say that. No. You can't claim that now. I Yeah. If I was there. Yeah, <laughs> if I was. It's like, like, maybe. But anyone can say that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> shit. Where were you then? That you would be a legend, though. The president. Come on, <laughs> Donald Trump tackling this gunman now. It's like Captain Hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. That'd be the most gangster thing with this massive red tie. <laughs> just tackling him. Oh, shit. Waving the US flag. <laughs> As a cape. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to have a cape. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Um, oh, what else has been going on? Hey, sure. Black See, Panther. Black Panther. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. I don't really like superhero movies that much. You like it? Nah. I don't really like it. Nah, I didn't really like it. It's funny about what Milo was saying about it, though. Yeah, it's funny how they say it's like, yeah. What was it? Just that how it represents nas- how nationalism. The good, and the good guys were like nationalists. Yeah. and Yeah, nationalist protectionist guys. And the bad guy was like SJW. Yeah, the bad guy was like, felt as though the Africans and stuff had been mistreated and co- colonizers were like terrible people. <laughs> Yeah. Colonizer, <laughs> yeah, it was weird. You no, know, but yeah, I just, I just, I don't know. I just don't like superhero fucking movies like that. I just hate movies where the main guy has tons of power. It just seems so gay. Yeah, it is a bit gay. It's just too much of a trump card. Like, yeah, it's gay. What are you gonna do at the end of the day? Oh, he's just gonna kill him. Yeah, he's just gonna be stronger than everyone again, <laughs> and then win. It's like, uh, yeah. One what was it on that one? Oh, the Justice League movie that I watch does that. They just oh we can't win. Oh, we'll resurrect Superman. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Superman can't win, but then he just gets angry and just punches harder. Mm. I'll just fly around. Or maybe we lost, but Superman can just fly around the world and reverse time. <laughs> <laughs> Too true. What? What can't that can't do? It's not like nothing. I don't think. He like he can't he's get powerless ki- to love. He, he can't get killed. He can't love. He can't love. Can he? No, he's powerless to love because he's he's too much in love. Oh, he is too. He, he has loves power it. over mm. him. Mm. What's her name? Lou Louise. Mm. He's Clark Kent, and I don't know. Can't remember her name. Shit! What is her name? Fuck it. I'm pretty sure it starts with L. Lois Lane. Lois. Boom. That's the one. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> 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 uh, should we have a break? I gotta love that show. Uh, yep. Oh, what do you want to play? Bit of Pearl Jam. Ooh. Uh, fuck, it would almost be rude not to. It's been sitting there, all these fucking things. Yeah. We'll go with Pearl Jam, Easy Flow. Pearl Jam, Easy Flow. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right Willem Dafoe. We're into it. Yo. Yo, we're back. All right. Um, Crime and Punishment. Favorite book? Well, best book you've ever read? Hmm. Nah. Beyond no. Good and Evil. Beyond Good and Evil. Best novel I've ever read. Yeah, yeah. But not the funnest novel I've ever read. No. Yeah, Crime and Punishment's some deep shit, eh? <laughs> Crazy deep. Mm. So weird. You can think a lot into it. A lot of levels of analysis you can take it at. Shit. If you just took it at face value, though, pretty shit. Pretty shit? Yeah, I reckon. If you don't think into it too much, it's not very exciting. It's just amazing how, like... How it's almost set on a level of, in the level of Raskolnikov's psyche, as opposed to like yeah. watching the story unfold. It's like you're in his head the whole time. 
which is a difficult thing to explain. No, I think that's a pretty good explanation of it, eh? You reckon? Yeah, yeah, I don't side his head all the time, because you're getting his interpretation of people every time. Oh, man, yeah, like... And just what he thinks about them. What he thinks about them, and, like, the way that his his thought patterns change is, like, you're like, whoa, he's really anxious right now, or he's, like, so blatantly, like, egotistically driven right now, or he's, like, overconfident, or now, at this at this point, he's just in euphoria. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, he's, like, he's, like, up and down, and, like, oh, I'm anxious, oh, I'm anxious, oh, fuck this, I'm angry, I'm gonna act out, it's crazy, it's weird. Fucking moody, eh? Oh, he's and just how his thought patterns change with each emotion. Yeah. It's fucking cool. It's w- it's he does such a good job at writing it, though. Yeah, it's crazy. It's fucking... Like, perfectly explains... You reckon Demons is better, though? We still haven't finished it. We still haven't finished it, yeah. Um, shit, man, I don't know. I don't even know. It's so difficult to say until the end. Yeah, definitely. But, but what like, did you think of the ending in Crime and Punishment, though? I thought it was kind of cool. It was cool. I wasn't expecting it to be... I thought it was going to be, like, sadder than that. Like yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a sad ending, but like I thought he was going to be like, no hope, no hope. He's fucked. I didn't think love was going to come back into it too much. Mm. Like I thought that he was going to get. I thought they loved each. Or like he loved her, initially, but they never like got together. But then um, fucking yeah. weird type of love though, eh? It was really. Well, they, they were like both like broken, but they like both wanted to like help each other. And oh, and she's just like super compassionate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like ready to yeah. willing to accept him for whatever he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was, like, super innocent as well. Like, mm. she just gave everything to anyone. He was like, you're, yeah. like, so pure. Because he, like, was so not pure, but, like, he was as well. Like, he was pure, but he got he was, he was got irritated that everyone wasn't, like, doing what's best for everyone else. So he was just like, fuck the system. I'm going yeah. to fuck. I'm just going to do some rank shit. Definitely got n- fuck the system on it. And he then she was just like, oh, you can't, you can't. And he's like, oh, man, I wouldn't kill you. You know, but he sort of thought mm. everyone, a lot of people deserve to die, though. Yeah, yeah, hard. But, um, yeah. And then he was like, oh, you're so good. And then she was sort of like, oh, you can be good, too. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, everyone's good. And, yeah. it's, mm. kind of, it's a very strange ending. Yeah, it is weird. It's like a fucking insane ending. Fuck, yeah. You should read it, if you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you should read this. Probably read don't that understand shit. much of that. No, no. Rick and Morty, man? Yeah, huck, huck and Earth, eh? <laughs> Fuck, I love Rick and Morty. Yeah. Favourite TV program? Different, oh. Favourite cartoon series? Favourite cartoon series, mm-hmm. without a doubt. Better than Family Guy, though, because Family Guy's been so gone for so long. Yeah, Family Guy's got that, like, that place in my heart. Mm. Always have that place in my heart. If I just watch Family Guy, I'm like, it's just like almost comforting to watch Family Guy. Yeah, it is. Like, it is a sense mm. of comfort, eh? You're, you're back in the Griffin household. <laughs> <laughs> it is comforting. Yeah. And just because I watched it from such a young age, it's mm-hmm. like, a part, it's part of what you grew up on. It's par- it's developed your humour so much as well. Yeah, man. Massive yeah, influence man. on your humour. Humor. Shit, yeah. <laughs> but you can tell, if people are like, what, like watching Family Guy, Yeah, they're a lot different. Their humour's a bit more. I don't know what, I don't even know what the humour is, eh? Like, They'll take the piss out of everything. Even if they like... If, look, as Family Guy... See the funny side of things, eh? Like, if Family Guy will take the piss out of things that they... It's so, like, that it seems obvious that Seth MacFarlane, like, agrees with. You know? They'll take yeah, the piss yeah. out of liberals. They'll take the piss out of conservatives. They'll take the piss out of this and that and this and but that. But it's not... It's not it's not too far. It's, like, not South Park far. No. It's no. still within these guidelines of, like, well, that's okay. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like a, a, a comedian a bit more. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. The comedians can be pretty fucking... It's, P- it's a bit more raunchy though. I don't know. Eh? It's, it's just more, yeah. Like it's, it's just not South PG. Park though. South Park's in South Park's <laughs> ruthless. Like no one's like South Park. South, South Park. Park's definitely up there as well though. Like in terms of uh, best cartoon series. Yeah, man. And it's got the fucking, it's got the length. It's, <laughs> it's hard hitting too. It's how long's that been around for? Like I want to say like six. 16 seasons? 20, no, no 22 20, seasons. Uh, yeah, 27 seasons. Maybe, f- was it Family Guy? Might be 16 seasons. I don't know. 16 or 18. Yeah, but yeah, no, Rick and Morty uh, seems to be the one, though, eh? Mm. Seems to be funnier, eh? It's the best, it's rated the best adult cartoon, isn't it? It's like 9.4 on IMDb or some bullshit. Yeah. But doesn't what have is a, it? Doesn't what have gives the range, it the edge? though. Oh, fuck. I don't know, eh? I actually don't know. Rick's just so smart. Like, Rick's such a cunt, but he's so fucking smart. It's funny. I don't know. I genuinely don't know, eh? What does give an edge? Well, obviously they have the ability to do anything because yeah. he can go to any universe. 
Yeah, so any every episode can be has the potential to be exciting. Yeah, yeah. Because you can do anything. And every episode is exciting. They and they can introduce new characters every single episode. Yeah. And they can always they can also be part of Rick's life. New characters. Mm. Like <laughs> he knows them. Yeah, hard. You know nothing about his backstory really. Yeah. Hard. It is, it's Spirit person tells you a little bit about him. But yeah, yeah, bro. You are dying. <laughs> I will do my best to see. You know what Wubba Lubba Dub Dub means in <laughs> my people's tongue? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I reckon Morty's so good. Morty's, Morty's a good cunt, too. And the voices jo- are good. The voices are good. And I don't know, the, the stereotypes are so good. They're on. Like Jerry's such a poofter. Such Jerry's a such a Jerry. <laughs> Beth is so, like, I don't know. Beth's so like Beth's such a woman that like felt like she could have done better. Yeah, Beth's like a, a bitchy middle class age woman. Sort yeah, of. I don't know, but like not necessarily. I don't know. And Summer's a stereotypical teenager. Yeah, yeah, but they develop. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even put my right. finger on it. Eh? I think it is the limitless potential. Mm. And Rick's and so Rick's smartness. And they've got Rick who takes the piss out of every stereotype ever. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just takes the piss out of everyone. Every single person. And then like it's funny when. You see, like, Rick actually care about something. Because mm. he's just always putting on this front that he doesn't... I don't give yeah. a fuck! Yeah, It's yeah. my new quote! I don't give a fuck! Yeah, yeah. Mm. He's an alcoholic. I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck I was up to. What else has been going on in the world? What else has happened? Hmm. I don't know. What else have you been doing? <laughs> you think of something? <laughs> um, been... Fuck. What did you think of, uh, did you see much into that, like, Bad Batch of Pingers? Did you read much into that in the end? Nope. In NZ? Nope. Yeah, well, one of my mates was saying that he reckons that it just came, there's a story on the news about if there was a Bad Batch of Pingers. Mm. And that some, like, more people were hospitalized over the weekend or something. Mm. How much does that just attribute to the fact that there's, like, a like Electric Avenue was on the weekend? Oh, you reckon it might have just been way more people took pingers? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. But, like, I think that they've kind of studied some of the pills, and, mm. like, they're bad. Oh, 100%. I reckon... I don't know. You never even know what you're getting when you buy that sort of shit. That's the thing, eh? What... Do you think that that... What do you think is the solution to that, though? Because... What, legalize? Do you think you should be, like, regu- regulating yeah, it? legalize it and regulate it. It's probably a good solution to that. So, what... Is it in Portugal everything's legal, isn't it? I think it's Portugal. I don't know. It's a really cool concept, though. Ah, uh, fuck, man. It's so... So progressive. Mm, so progressive. It's so... It's and one like of those things that I feel like you don't know what the downside's going to be until you do it. No, you'd have to have a database of how much people could buy as well. Yeah. Like, wouldn't, couldn't oh, you, you, couldn't just, you couldn't just make it a free market. No. It would no, literally have to be like, you've had this much. Regulated, You're yeah. not allowed anymore. Mm. So you'll fucking die. I don't know. But uh, the thing is, like, can can we really be... Can the government really be part of something that is detrimental to people's, people's life. Yeah, I don't know. Health. Like, yeah, yeah, can you like, like, is it good that it's regulated and it could stop some people overindulging? But like, is it really, like, what what's the downside to having people who may never do that sort of stuff? Even, like, imagine if crack was legal. Yeah, yeah. What's, one, well, what's like, the bigger people, price to pay, yeah, eh? To everyone getting slightly introduced to it. Mm. Shit, if stuff's really addictive, that might be all it takes. And then yeah, everyone's yeah, on enough. crack. Yeah, it's like oh. how addictive is this shit? Yeah, like regulating it really gonna do mm. anything? Yeah, or I feel pe- like if people if it's that addictive, there's mm. just gonna be riots. People are gonna be breaking, yeah. taking down the government to get this shit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but at the moment, I suppose they they attack you to get the. Nah, I don't think it'll work, bro. I don't think it'll work. I don't know. And um, not everything. They anyway. do it in Brave New World, in Outer Suxy's Brave New World. I should have read that. They have like the a drug that I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, just like essentially no detrimental health um effects, side effects, and it's just the meanest high basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they just give it out almost as like their pay. Yeah. Fuck. I can't. Soma. It's called soma, and that's actually a word for. That some place used for, like a state of, a state above consciousness. Oh yeah, so tripping. Yeah, but yeah, soma. I think it was called. I think so. And yeah, I need to read that. That's just what they gave the workers to like make their life worth living, like, like Rick the lower class like workers. Rick and Morty. 
when the government takes over, the intergalactic government takes over, and they, I'm pulling in a four chewable. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's but that, yeah, it was just it's just enough to make them realize. Do that you think Rick and Morty takes a lot of their um themes away out of like George Orwell and out of Huxley stuff? Interesting to know what old Justin Rowland's up to. Yeah, eh? yeah, he seems like he has quite a anti like Rick seems very anti government. He is very anti government. Eh? I wonder who Justin Rowland uh, relates with more, Rick or Morty, because he is um he does both their voices. Yeah. Maybe it's like two maybe he sees it as he's an intermediary mm. between them. Yeah, two different sides of his yeah. Ca- character. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And just the extremes of both sides. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't know. And Jerry as well. Because Jerry like loves the government. Yeah. Well, Jerry <laughs> loves the loves the system, eh? Yeah. Well, anything that helps him. The game. <laughs> Rick just laughs at the game. Well, he lo- no, Rick, Jerry likes anything that levels it out. Because he hates, he hates, because he sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he sucks at competing. Everything at brought down to his level. Yeah. Yeah, like, you fucking morons. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It is kind of like it is kind of like an Orwellian buzz sometimes, Rick and Morty. Very nihilistic. With Rick. Yeah. Morty's super optimistic all the time though. Not anymore though. Uh, He's yeah. like, yeah, fuck. Have you seen the season four trailer? No. I've seen one. I don't think it's legit though. But no. it's like Morty they're like talking about ice cream mm. for about two minutes is like it's really good. You should try it. If you haven't tried it, I would get some. I, I would get some ice cream too. I think <laughs> I would lick some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, 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 Morty. I would. I would totally lick some ice cream too right now. <laughs> and then Morty just decides to go vegan at the end of that. Oh, okay. So that'd be funny. That'd be funny. He goes vegan. Rick would not be happy. What do you reckon about veganism? Uh, I don't know. Is their main claim that it's like ethically wrong? Um, I don't know. I think that's definitely one of the claims, and then it's bad for the planet because yeah. they see like cowspiracy and um, whatever those other ones were, cowspiracy and something else. I don't know. Well, it's Vegans. cowspiracy. It's like a documentary that illustrates how bad like the ag- like farming domesticated and shit. cows are. Yeah, or like farming and agriculture is for the planet <coughs> with all the methane that the cows and shit release. I don't know. I think it's like an ethical claim and it's also a th- yeah political statement uh, i think it's veganism is pretty cool like do whatever you want if you can um yeah if they want to make changes to how the free markets like how the f- well, how like the problem that they perceive in the free market of like the externalities of um agriculture and shit are like being detrimental to the environment then go for it i don't have anything against vegans obviously you know everyone hates the pretentious vegans who attempt to convert convert people, people and like, like kind of be con- snub their shoulder at you be for con- not be being condescending vegan. for not being a vegan yeah. it's like most of the time it's like Get you don't, you don't, you don't actually know though do you yeah, yeah, yeah. This, though, that's what you've done you've watched two documentaries yeah and now now you're like <laughs> now you're an expert yeah now you're a fucking climate salt scientist mm. no i don't think so so just get take a little bit down off your high horse feel free to tell me the facts that you learned in the movie and, you know, I'll take them in. But don't just act like I'm a complete moron because I haven't converted to something that you did six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying. But, like, yeah, well, seems good, eh? It would be, it would be pretty amazing if we could get to a world where um, we didn't have to eat any animals. But at the same point, if we're not eating any animals, sheep and cows are dead. Yeah, they're going to die <laughs> off. <laughs> we <laughs> don't. We, we have no point. What, well, are we no just going to keep them? them? Oh, we've got, a, we've got a fucking nature reserve for sheep and cows. Just sitting there, <laughs> looking around. They'll eat all well, the grass. We still have to take care of them. No, they'll eat all the grass. If they had, <laughs> if they was just free for all, yeah, you'd still need to farm them. <laughs> and what about all like the fact that there's already so many farms set up and shit, all these fences and shit? This is gonna. Well, you couldn't. Yeah, you actually had to someone to go fucked. and open the things. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You need to farm them without actually farming them. Yeah. Shepherds. Well, they'd, they'd kill them. Everyone would just kill them. Like. Yeah. Hunt them. They'd just be dead. Well, well they'd, they'd just die if, I think they'd just, if no one looked I after think people them. would just sell them all to the market. They'd just be like, right, every, I don't know, if everyone's going out of business, there, there you go. Che- meat's real cheap. No one really wants it, though. And then it'd be done, I suppose. Imagine if we got to that point where, like, it's extremely frowned upon to eat meat. But it's real cheap. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. Like, yeah. it's just like, it's considered cannibalism. Yeah, yeah. That's a crazy concept, eh? 
eating any sort of other animal is just like, you freak. Yeah. There's like satanic people yeah. that eat meat. I heard there's a video online of him eating a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. He roasted, roasted a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit. I don't know. I... Is that, is that, is that what, is that vegan's ultimate goal though? Well, it seems like it. It seems like that's like the utopia that they would be striving for. It's crazy, man. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. That's what I think about veganism. Like, yeah. It seems like they kind of, it's an all or nothing. Like, well, for the people who are like trying to convert other people. It's like, if they're, if they're irritated that you're not doing it, it's like, is your end goal just absolutely nothing? Like, you will just actually want to remove eating meat for everybody. Or are you just trying to moderate it? I'd yeah, that's what. It, well, it doesn't seem like a moderating thing. I think, so, thing. Eh? I yeah, think I it's think a. You can moderate it. Eh? I think it's a get out of here, eh? All or nothing, eh? Yeah, it's mm. a crazy. Well, concept. fuck! How dangerous is that? If they start getting enough power, what? Like, like politically enforcing, legislating, not yeah, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine it. Can't have my neck. I don't think I could. I don't think I could. Could not eat. <laughs> could not eat meat. Nah. I don't think I could. People who are uh, like people who I've spoken to are vegan or vegetarian say that have said that like well, after the first couple of weeks they don't even notice. Mm. But then again, a lot of those people eat fish, and it's like, yeah, if I could eat fish all the time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if it was good cooked fish. But um, I don't know. It's just an expensive thing for me. Like fuck, but lots of people would lose lose jobs. Mm, a lot of people would lose jobs. Isn't like artificial meat coming through as well? Know, I've yeah. heard like uh, they're making some pretty good artificial chicken through like seeds and grains and veggies oh, yeah. and shit. I've had know. chicken that's made a lot of like I think like corn and peas. They mush it up, mm. tastes good, but like it doesn't taste like chicken. No, nah. but like, it is only going to get better. Yeah, it's going to get better. I think that I think like the next step because that's like made out of other things. I think uh, oh, I might be wrong with this. I feel like I heard them make, trying to make like actually just artificially create meat. Like what's three D printing? Is that what that is? I don't think they print meat. But yeah, I don't really understand 3D printing. I saw a video of a 3D pen the other day where the guy was actually like drawing stuff with his pen, but it was in 3D. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand it either. Is it like the world's best version of Play-Doh? That's hard now. Actually hard. I don't understand it. But they have t all these different um like things that they can make. Like, oh, we'll give a metal line there, and this is a plastic one, and then, oh, rubber. Bleh. Like, what the fuck are they doing? Fuck, if it is, like, that awesome, mm. that sounds pretty revolutionary. I think it is revolutionary. Like, eventually, they'll just be 3D printing cars and shit. Yeah. Like, Buildings? <laughs> I guess so. Than that. I suppose so. <laughs> you know, a giant, like, you just get two, like, sort of, like, what are they called? Those, like, massive army things that have, like, ships fly off them. Like planes oh, fly yeah, off, yeah. just two of them with like a massive 3D printer along the top. And you just take it along, you just 3D print an island with a city on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the limit to that? Imagine if everyone just got a 3D printer, they can have whatever the fuck they planets. want. Planets. 3D printing planets. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> universe. Yeah. yeah. There you go. No, wait, no, no, I yeah, made, we made another, another moon. <laughs> Thought I wanted a moon, so... <laughs> I thought it'd be pretty cool if we looked up and seen two moons at night. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. So what's your favourite genre of music? Oh. I can't vape in that one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um, I thought you were, I don't know in this. I don't know, eh? I feel like each one just has so many... So many different claims. What genre right. of music do you think um, has had the largest impact on your, like, education when it comes to music? Oh, yeah. Um, probably jazz. Jazz is pretty deep. A lot of shit in jazz to understand. It goes, just keeps going and going. Trip. Yeah. Jazz. I don't even really know what jazz is. I know Lisa Simpson plays the saxophone. Is that jazz? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep, you know, jazz is pretty cool. That was what pretty much what that guitar was based around. That guitar tuning. And classical. Well, when you were younger? No, no, no. In uni. Oh, okay. Yep. And then classical is also very deep. You can read into that a lot, take that a lot of different 
there was analysis and there's so many instruments and like orchestral pieces it's like fuck mm. it's just like a whole different heaps of different voices do you reckon you read into part? classical music more because you can't look up a video of the artist explaining exactly what he meant um you know you just sort of got to speculate on everything you can look up other people doing that though other people saying what the artists is yeah, saying. Yeah, like professionals saying yeah. that. And um, and they can, the artists could write what they said. What mm, they they could have written. Yeah, yeah they could have. I was wondering if they did it quite as much as the artists of today. No, probably not, I suppose. I don't know. Um, nah, it's funner. It's funner just to like read into yourself, I reckon. <laughs> oh, definitely. But, definitely uh, but, you know, if you hear the person who wrote it say it, then you're sort of like, oh. Yeah, it probably I'll explains stop. it a bit more, I right? I guess I'll stop reading into that. <laughs> yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what that is. Um, Puts a stop to everything. Yeah. It's so funny. Um, If you just try to read into something real deep, you're just like, oh, nah. Like, that was just, that was just random. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that was, my Compl- roommate just said it, said it sounded cool. Yeah. I don't really like that piece. Yeah. <laughs> um, so YouTube, what do you think YouTube is? Is it a phenomenon? Is this like seems like the next thing? Sort of seems Jordan like next Peterson TV. Talking about it, yeah. Revel- the new, the new. <laughs> what is it? The second coming of the printing press. Yeah, the, the, the second the coming s- of the printing the press. Spoke first it seems like the, the place s- for journalism to journalism yeah. to go away. Yeah, what did he say? It's the first time in history where the spoken word can reach as many people as the written word. Mm. It is. Yeah, I think so. I think it's tool for education, media. You could just debate. Imagine that, like. Everything. Um, TV's just turned into YouTube and it just had like top trending shit. I think it is. And so, well, yeah, it is. But like, I mean, completely. Like, oh, how long do you reckon? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Ten years? <sighs> I'm like optimistically, I reckon. Yeah, I don't know. It's so difficult to say how long it would take the, like the stragglers to get off TV. Imagine having like YouTube as like your cable, with, mm. like a remote. And you just get to like scroll through your channels, like Jordan Peterson channel. You do that. They channel. have it. Chromecast. <laughs> Chromecast. Yeah, yeah, Chromecast, but I, yeah. They got it, eh? It's actually, yeah, this is shit that's happening. Smart TVs. Wow, like, YouTube is... No, but, like, so many people just think YouTube is, like, you can only watch sound bites, Like, 10-minute videos, 5-minute videos. You can watch anything. It did used to be that, though, eh? That's what I mean. A lot of people haven't realised the transition to, like, holy shit, this, everything's on YouTube. Yeah, three-hour Joe Rogan podcasts. Three-hour Joe Rogan's, like, <laughs> lecture courses from all the top universities. Yeah. All music. All music, <laughs> yeah. All, yeah, bro. YouTube has everything. All musics. All, like, just... Comedians. De- debates, yeah. Comedians. Fucking... Literally everything. Funny videos. Audio books. Still got cute cat videos yeah, as well. Yeah, still got the little shit. <laughs> like, it's insane. They had to just have shows now as well. Like, YouTube Family shows. Guy. Yeah. And Rick and Morty. And, and they have the live stream. Yeah, yeah. The live stream of constantly playing. <sighs> It's crazy, eh? It's just, um, it's just so like, is yeah. I wonder. Do you think like Facebook and shit will ever die? Oh, I think social media will be on like a rotisserie style thing. They'll re- say social media will be going phases. Facebook will die, Twitter will die, the next thing will pop up, which will be pretty much the same, but it'll be something different. But like at the moment, YouTube, YouTube does a different service than all those, all of them. Yeah, yeah. YouTube's just like literally on the library for videos. Well, what else is there like YouTube Vimeo, but like. No shorter is not that. I think no, I don't know. I haven't really looked into Vimeo. Vimeo, I think I've seen one video on Vimeo. Um, what other vi- video things are there? It's just yeah, it's a worldwide library that has infinite storing capacity, and you don't have to read it, and you can just <laughs> listen and like yeah, you can listen, you can watch a live stream of an expert. Talk, like sitting there explaining stuff to you, answering live questions from people. Mm. Yeah, it's the live elements at Real Game Changer the question answers thing, eh? It's amazing. It just makes it so much more real, and you can feel like you can be a part of it as well. Shit, yeah. yeah. I reckon. And it's cool how Patreon works. That's Patreon's like how so that cool. shit actually works. Yeah, man. Patreon's crazy. Like, yeah. Oh, you mean how like it actually functions? Yeah. It's amazing. It's incredible, isn't it? It's amazing. God, like it that seems people like people live like can yeah. make money off that. Seems like it goes against human nature, but they love it. Yeah, I don't do it. No, I don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> <Dip shits. laughs> no, nah, yeah, it's good though. That's incredible. Ah, uh, yeah. 
But ads are coming into YouTube. Get an ad blocker. Get an ad blocker. Do you have ad blocker? I have yeah. ad blocker and they never they never come. Never come up, yeah. Um I Fucking did hear shit, bro. I did hear that it's potentially gonna go into like a streaming model though, like Spotify, where it might cost something like per minute or something. Mm. Like well, real minuscule, like zero point zero zero one cent or whatever. Per minute. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yuck. That actually makes your time precious. Yeah, <laughs> that's fucking annoying. I'd rather pay for a subscription than a minute. Yeah, well, I think minute. they'd probably give you that option as well. Yeah, bro. Well, when, if it gets so big, like, how could you not? Like, if it gets so probably big, probably monetize it. And if you, but how um, much money are they making off ads at the moment? Oh, it's be crazy, won't it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't actually know what they're sure what their revenue is, but it must be. People, they it's pay insane. people as well. I think YouTube, don't they? When yeah. they get so many views, they get like a hundred bucks or something. Yeah, I think yeah, they pay people. Um. Um, but yeah, when you think about it, like, how could you rationalize not paying for it, like YouTube, when you think about everything that it offers you? Like, if you're going to pay sixty thousand dollars to get a varsity degree, and all of the educational material is on YouTube, yeah, like, how can you not pay? Like, if you Go if you're going to utilize YouTube, you can fuck, you could you just everything's on there. Mm -hmm. You could genuinely learn so much. Not that you can, you can't have the hands-on classes, but as we just said, the live streaming, if you're actually going to keep up to date with that. Well, even just to take that back a step, just to the entertainment level, yeah. if you can rationalise paying for Sky, yeah, yeah, like, Jesus yeah. Christ. 100%, 100%. I feel like a lot of the problem people, a lot of people have is they're like, I don't want it to have to decide, mm. you know, I actually can't be bothered picking something, but it's like, man, think about it though, if you can put in the time to pick something, you're watching exactly what you want. Not like what the best option was between these four channels. The the best thing that was on there that you felt like watching. Whenever you want. Whenever you want. You can pause it, go away, well, come back. Although Sky's pretty much like that now. You can pretty much record mm. anything and watch it whenever you want. You can. On demand. Yeah. Netflix now is pretty prominent. Yep. Yep, it is. It's I just think YouTube's same. better. Yeah, I reckon YouTube's more. better. But net, yeah, people love Netflix. But it's definitely, Netflix is targeting just that entertainment. People love that entertainment. Netflix is like um, more blockbuster, big movies, and like actual well-produced TV programs. YouTube's like, yeah, doesn't really have the highest quality shit, but it's got all of the other stuff. More content. It's got all of the sound bites. It's got all like the cartoons. It's got all the yeah, as you said, the music and just like the just like it's more, yeah, more like the edu yeah, more like well, everything you want, media. just everything you want. Media. Yeah, it's fucking weird, man. And it's only going to get better. Yeah. Oh, it's getting rapidly getting better, I'd say. Over the last, like, four years. Yeah. It's really changed the game. Like, Fuck yeah. Yeah. Like, back in the day... You've always been a pretty avid YouTube watcher. Yeah, I've always, like... Well, the first time... I used to watch... Yeah, I used to watch YouTube shitloads at high school. And, like, the first time I really started realising that it was, like, legit was when I was sort of... What was it, like... I don't know, I was watching, like, basketball, and then I realized that all the documentaries for, like, all the players are on there, and I was like, hey, there's, like, documentaries on here, and, like, movies and shit. I was mm -hmm. like, fuck yeah. I'm not going to the video store anymore. <laughs> fuck that. Because there yeah. used to be probably more movies on there. Because, yeah. like, now they, they, like, do the whole selling movies thing. But you used to, I remember when I, like, at the start, they couldn't, you, you must not have been able to put up a movie that was longer than so whatever, or something like that. I think so, it was, like, an hour or something. So you just went, you just went on and... You know, blah blah blah, part one. Nice. Yeah, I just used yeah, to, I yeah. Just used to watch full Heaps of different parts, fifteen yeah. parts, eh? and then that one would get taken down. Part eleven's taken down. Oh, you fucked that little like <sighs> that face that comes up when something's been taken down. Sorry, this video no longer exists. Oh shit. Yeah, but like, yeah, no, I've always liked YouTube. It's fucking, it's good. But yeah, all the all the human like. Yeah, initially for me it was like documentaries. You could just find every documentary on YouTube. Yeah, I don't use YouTube as much as what you do, but I usually use it, oh. I mainly just use it probably once a day, although I have been smashing o podcasts on that Overwatch app, that's pretty mean, because the audio files, you know, allows you to go do other shit, that whole chat. Mm, that's mean. I just ne I need to get a phone, it's better. Mm. My, my phone always dies, and I probably need to get some headphones. Yeah, you want to get some Bluetooth ones, man. Don't fuck around with those cords anymore. You reckon? Just yeah, it's so ones. much better. I suppose you can. Just, you can do, you can move. You can walk around, yeah. That would be gangster walking around listening to shit. 
Yeah. Mm. And over the head ones are just like, they're so much more comfortable. Mm. You never have to worry about them like falling out or your little ear hole getting a bit sore. Yeah. 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 I don't need to go on that bar. They're only about 50 bucks as well. It's really nuts. Like, you don't even have to do, like, reading, you have to read. Like, you don't even actually have to do anything. You just sit there and it gets. Yeah, yeah. Just in. shoveled into your brain. Yeah, it's hard. Like, it's, you don't take it in as well unless you're, if you're, as if you're reading. Yeah, that's the argument, hey. Yeah. But, like, you still take a lot of it in. And if you can do it all day, every day, or, like, all of your spare time, it's like, fuck, you're ahead of the curb. How important is reading, though, do you reckon? What do you mean? For what? For your brain? For people. People, I don't know. Do you think it's bad? Because it feel, I feel like m- with the rise of YouTube and Netflix and whatnot, there's got to be, reading's got to be declining. I don't know. Eh? I don't it's got to be a declining like hobby. I don't know. Um, yeah, it definitely will be, I'd say. I'd say there'd be a small numbers of people who actually read like, I don't know, just for the enjoyment. For fun. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. But um, I think it's a very small minority. I don't know. But I think it's always been a small minority. I reckon it's reading's cool. Because, like, yeah, like, like what I heard Peace and saying, it was like, just like, it's a good way to, like, travel without having to go anywhere. And it's like, that is a good Yeah, that, that is, a, is a good way, yeah. Good way of describing it. But, like, so, and, and so yeah. are videos. Oh, yeah, so are videos. I think books are better, though. Because, like, books take so long. You get long. more, you have to immerse fully into yeah. it as well. Yeah. Like you're saying, it's not just getting shuffled into your brain. Mm. You actually have to full on concentrate. Yeah. Oh, and it takes ages to read a big book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end, you're actually like, It's a big Whoa. mission, eh? Shit, that was intense. Yeah, man. You're almost a bit lost once you get to the end of it as well. Like, shit. It's a bit weird, eh? Finish, um, finish that, so. But, like, definitely. Like, you see people, like, people who go to, as you said, you're talking about that guy the other day who went to, like, prison, and then all they do is read. It's like, fuck, how could you not? What else could you do? You're stuck in this shithole. Yeah, yeah. May as well just, it's like escapism. Just read as much as you can, escape for as much of the time as you can, and you're ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. The travel concept's cool. Yeah. Sure. Oh, Jacket all day. Well, can't man do. Yeah. That puffer jacket goes hard. It does. Fresher. Pun? You're a fresher. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Reading's more satisfying than watching videos. Like you feel it is a bit of a workout as well for your brain. Yeah, you feel good about yourself if you read a whole book. You're like, ooh, cool. Mm. It's like some people don't like reading books online because they really want the, you know, read a book and it's so satisfying and you get to the end you're like oh man and also if you have a big book bookshelf it's like oh I've got these books yeah you know, like a little thing pride yeah a little pride thing eh? what do you reckon imagine if like signs and stuff just became like little videos and shit instead Fuck, they probably will yeah they do in a lot of the cities you know the the cross signs are like just thing and then they've got a guy walking electronically done yeah you would have seen them no I haven't seen them haven't you yeah you would have Oh, sure. Surely you would Like a you video know. of a guy crossing the street. Yeah. Not an actual video, but like a digital thing. Of oh, like it's a still gr- like, like a green, green green guy going, like walking. But oh, it's like, okay, yeah, But it's yeah, all yeah. one. It's not like a sign. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. But not like they happened to need him. Like a one where it's actually... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I thought you meant like an actual full-on... Oh, you mean like a like, like uh, a video of someone like, like a movie. if it was like the Beatles on Abbey, Abbey Road, like moving across the oh, okay. crossing. <laughs> actual people. Oh, like a hologram. Yeah, walking well, across the road. Nah, nah, not a hologram, but fuck, that would be buzzy. <laughs> come on, and there's <laughs> someone going like, "Come on, come on," <laughs> Hold, <go>. hold, <laughs> holding little kids' hands. Oh shit! What the fuck? <laughs> and we're really um, like. Bouncing. S- speculating on some, f- some fucked up future concepts here. Yeah. Veganism. <laughs> yeah. Veganism legislated. That's animal harassment. That's, <laughs> that's murder. That's murder, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose it's how you look at it, eh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Probably that shit will come. I don't even know. I've got like, you seen the Tupac hologram? Yeah. Video of two, Tupac on stage? Yeah. Do they do an MJ one as well? Probably. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Pretty funny how uh, Michael Jackson and Michael Jordan are both MJ. Mm. <laughs> it is weird, eh? The two, two all-time goats. Yeah. MJ. Fuck yeah, Michael Ooh. Jackson, eh? Sussed it. Michael Sussed Jordan also sussed it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you a Michael Jordan or LeBron? 
I haven't watched that much Michael Jordan. Neither. I've only watched his highlights. But, uh, yeah, his highlights seem pretty mean. And he's got six championships. That's cool. And he was, like, the first person to really be, like, an all-time scorer, like, the best scorer in the league and still be able to win. I don't know. Depends how you look at it, eh? Yeah. If you're looking at it statistically or you're looking at it gameplay. I feel like I almost have to look at it statistically because that's representative of the time they're playing in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 100%. I think LeBron James would be better than him. Yeah. If they played. He's fucking massive. Yeah, he's so much bigger. He's so, but he'll be. Well, he'll it be depends fitter. what you mean by better as he'll well, be because d- does that mean one on one? I mean, that's a completely different game to the game of basketball. Who do you reckon will win one on one? Fuck, I'd put <sighs> probably so MJ. Yeah, he's so much steezier, eh? But at the same time, he tried shooting to, though. He tried so much more. You know, like yeah. he took so many more shots. So if LeBron just went for it, he yeah. might just be able to muscle his way. Well, it honestly seems like LeBron, if he wanted to, he could score like 45 points a game. Run a simulation on 2K. Yeah. 1v1s. Nah, they'll be fucking, they'll be sucking off MJ too hard. Yeah. He'll be 99. You could use the heat. Nah, it still wouldn't. I don't know, man. LeBron James is mean, but the competition that he's playing against now is seems better anyway. I don't know. It must be better. It must be, it must be, be way right. better, bro. All the nutri- like the yeah, everyone's bigger and shit. Well, everyone's just learning how to play basketball better as well. Mm. <laughs> Each generation, people are getting better and better. It makes mm. sense. That's but how the it rule works. changes as well, though. That's what they talk about. Yeah, yeah. Less physicality today. Less physicality. That's weird, but it seems like if there was more physicality, LeBron James would benefit more. Yeah. <laughs> He'd smash people out of the way. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Like you can't just say, oh, LeBron James is less physical than MJ. It's like, well, he's playing the game that he's playing. That he's playing, yeah. Yeah, like... He's <laughs> playing to the, within the boundaries of the game. I mean, I can see LeBron James playing in the NFL. I can't really see Michael Jordan playing in the NFL. No. LeBron James is a team. LeBron James could have played in the NFL as well, yeah, couldn't he? I think so. I think there was talk about that. Yeah, I think he got, a, like, a scholarship or some bullshit. Like, yeah, I don't think he's going to... I don't think he's just going to be a bitch. MJ starts, like, smacking him on the hand and, like, checking him. He's like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> He'll just be like, right, oh, bang, get out of my way. Yeah. But I don't know. I haven't watched enough of MJ. The shit I have watched of him, he's fucking mean. Yeah. So I don't know. The shit that I've watched of him, it's just like, give me the ball and get, yeah, out, yeah. And get out of the way. <laughs> I'm, I'll score this. I saw. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Boom, three-pointer, three-pointer, three-pointer. And he like seems to come up with the big plays like LeBron does with the like block right at the end of the game and stuff. Like he comes up with the goods on defense as well. Yeah, apparently he's the man on defense. Crazy, crazy because he's not like that big. Well, he's big, but like he's, LeBron's really big. Mm. So like when he's you know when he blocks a guard and stuff, it's like that's gangster. But like MJ, it's like he's really working hard. You're really muscling up against those big guys. Fuck yeah. Like because LeBron, you know, LeBron's almost as big as the big guys. Does Kobe even get a shout in that? Argument? I don't know. I haven't watched enough of him either. I feel like Kobe's just a poor man's Jordan. Mm. So I feel like he just loses to Jordan and then the too, argument's Too done. similar to Jordan, yeah. eh? And he was just after, so everyone's like, nah. Yeah. He's yeah. not as good. He's not as good. I don't know. Kobe seems pretty mean as well. Super steezy. Yeah. Like MJ, eh? Give oh, me, yeah. Give me the ball. This game is based around MJ. There's no doubt about it. Give me the ball. Get out of the way. Shooting tons of shots. I don't know. Basketball. Basketball. I like it. It's good fun. Fuck, I don't rate baseball, though. <laughs> no, I never really watch it, eh? But it seems... Well, it seems a bit quite slow going. Seems like cricket. Oh, man. I thought it was slower than cricket when I went to watch it. Mm. But maybe it's just because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Mm. Mm. Seems like one of those games where there's heaps of like, little nitty-gritty rules that you want to know about. And no real. Like, Heaps of little mm. tactics. Ryan Eagles loves it. <laughs> what doesn't he love? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he loves it. Nah, you're right, Eagles. <laughs> um. hmm. hmm. Give that a wee um, wiggle wiggle on the mouse pad. What does it say? What does it say? We're 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call it a day, I reckon. Yeah, probably call it a day. Fuck, we bounced around a bit on that one. Um, but give us the high virtue test then, can't? 
Is this? This is us. All right. There's a higher virtue test. <laughs> OCD or untidy? Um, shit. Probably. Probably untidy. Yep. Comfort or adventure? Adventure. Compassion or competition? Competition. Got to get up for that competition, eh? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony or honesty? Honesty. Mm. Group or solo discussion? Solo discussion. Happy. Hence the podcast. Oh no, purpose or pleasure? Purpose. Happy and sad or content? Happy and sad. Got to get the both. Question or answer? Question. Power to individual or group? Power to the individual. Yes or no? No. No? <laughs> no fucking way, bro. Not feeling it? No. Um, Not fucking feeling it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, oh. Right. Well, that's going to be the last episode for a while. Um, I might continue this in Melbourne once I get there. And then, hey, we might just keep that release going weekly. But we'll see how it all goes. See how I situate myself. Cheers for uh, flopping it over, Brando. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody oath. Hope y'all have enjoyed this little series. Uh, <laughs> definitely be a different location after this anyway. Mm -hmm. Peace. Scruffy chin wax. Rarity. The curiosity house. Awesome, awesome. awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that.